Three, two, one. Go. Looking for that sub two and a half. Nice waiter skeleton to start. Actually, not a bad one to start with. <laughs> Absolutely tears through Gollum. Now, one of the cool things about this compression effect I've got applied to the mic now is that apparently... If I, like, do a big pop-off, there will be less digital compression. I watched a good tutorial video on all this. I learned some stuff. Do you want to try it out together? Let's try it out. Ooh, Alucard sword, not bad. Hello, Rush Guy, welcome. Yo! Giant slug! Huge! All right, so how was that? Yo, devil, huge! How was that? Is there less clipping going on? That's the whole idea. Hopefully it sounds uh, less grating to the ears when I pop off. If so, I think it's gonna be an overall big improvement to the stream. <laughs> See, a very early devil with a good auto cancel is pretty nice. Well, that was easy. Good seal day, one for one. Panther. Flying armor, okay. So the wrong blue, but... If I'm able to get uh, early Malphus, this will be the second best speed option. No way. Is it bait? It's the real deal. Oh my god. Very nice. So we got the talisman in the first three minutes of the run. Uh, yeah, it seems to be. Apparently the plan was you'd be able to unlock this sword for Soma. But it was cut. And you get Hellfire instead, which is also a really cool reward. Hellfire is an underrated soul. Nice hot dog. Gotta pick that up. But yeah, it would've been nice to get both, I think. Panther. Every blue except the one I really want. Man, this is a stacked start. Look at this. Where's Paranoia? There we go. Paranoia and the bat and the flying armor and the talisman. Pretty fantastic. And the death robe. Didn't even have to check that one. Wow, and the best yellow in the game. Okay, wow. This is uh, really quite a start. If we had Panther, it'd be literally perfect. The mic sounds good. Hey, I'm glad to hear it, Sukan. Definitely gonna be a bit different. I learned what compression is. So uh, I'll admit this. I have assumed that gain is what you want to do to like increase the volume of your mic. But it apparently leads to more clipping. And what you really want to do is set up a, uh, a compression deal, and then increase the gain from inside of that. That's all way above my pay grade, but I saw a JRP video on this. Hopefully it sounds better. I can always tweak the settings a little bit. I mean, it makes sense, right? Gain is gain volume. What else would it make? 
I think it means like gain sensitivity to the mic or something. I don't know. But it doesn't mean volume. Uh huh, nice double. Gain means hear harder, including distortion. Yep. Also, apparently, it peaks more easily. And when you get to the top of the range, there's just, there's like no audio depth. It's all very crunched. This would be something that's uh, more interesting to learn more about, I think. And, you know, it's relevant to my job. Might be worth taking the time to, like, do a community college course or something on audio engineering one day. Might be fun. Dawn does have killer fish, and unironically it is OP, against Rahab. It's like the most broken soul in the game. On a fresh file, you can't even use killer fish on Rahab, because it comes after that boss. Actually, that's not true. If you go around the cuddle doorway, which is not intended, but it's not a glitch, you actually could. But in New Game Plus, yeah, you can use it. Super busted. I'm gonna try and show it off here. You don't believe me. It's really good. Haha, <laughs> yes. Killer fish, more like fish killer. Devil this early is just kind of unfair. Yeah, I'm not even sure what DB means. <laughs> hey, nice Mandragora, that's a great red. Let's go put that on. When it comes to all that stuff, I really just want to play video games and press the buttons. So I'm very happy to take the lead from the pros and just do what they say. Let me put it to you this way, Oliver. It's, like, better than the claim. If you had a choice between Killer Fish and Claim for Rahab, Killer Fish is the clear choice. It's stronger per hit, and it multi-hits. There it is. It's every time. How does it keep happening? Week after week, the requisite death scythe is here. We'll go get that later. It's the randomizer's favorite weapon. It's just every time it's a lock. Let's go. If you're not going to use killer fish on Rahab, this is like your next best option. Alright, so we're like 10 minutes into the run. Let me get some quick feedback. Is the mic too loud, too quiet, or about right? What do we think? 
Let me also say that I'm gonna lean back slightly, which is what I normally do, bad posture, etc. How does it sound right now? Right now. Is it too loud, too quiet, or just right? Oh my god, look at this. Ten minute Dimitri. Coming up. It sounds like it's about right. Thank you all for the feedback. Can't believe this is really happening. Uh, last time I forgot Talisman was two years ago. It will happen again. It's a question of when, not if. Just like with Dimitri, it's a question of when this guy is going to be smug, not if. The smug is assumed. Alright, see you later. See you in like two hours, Dimitri. I guess we'll go to guest house first. I mean, there's a canister here. Um, all right, I'm gonna do these real quick. If this is Panther, I would be so sad. So let's just do these real quick. All right, thank you for the reminder. Gotta go back to this one. Like I said, I'm not used to uh, early Dimitri cutscene. It's a yellow. Well, could have left this one for later. Do have a couple more checks, though. Hamburger and... And... Nothing. It on pretty good. I think I'll stick with Magic for now. No way! <laughs> Another Soul Eater. Oh my God! And it's a uh, a gray. <laughs> Persephone had the goods today. That's crazy. You know what that means? All the money I'm gonna need for the entire seed. I'm gonna get from that one ring. If I happen to sell two by mistake, we'll just come right back and get a third one. Uh, is this PlayStation 5? This is not PlayStation 5. This is a DS game right here. Although perhaps, with any luck, we'll get a DS collection. Look at this. So Persephone had Mud Demon, a Super Potion, and a Soul Eater ring. Nice. 
speaking of collections, I've got some Konami news to share. This was posted on the Discord yesterday. A game I've been dreaming about. We're getting an old Yu-Gi-Oh game collection. Uh, at least in Japan. That's okay. I'm mean, gonna just play it in Japanese and that's fine. The open question, we only know about a couple of them. It's like an early Game Boy game and it's an early GBA game. Will Forbidden Memories be on there? I'm actually somewhat optimistic because yeah, the rules for Forbidden Memories are pretty different. But uh, same with the two games that have been confirmed already. Very different than the standard Yu-Gi-Oh experience. So uh, it's possible. And even if it's Japan only, Forbidden Memories is very playable. So, um, that could be huge for the game. Uh, Konami is working on a new Castlevania. We don't know what kind of Castlevania, but apparently it's being done in-house. Just imagine we get Rocket Knight a little bit later this year. Then we get Yu-Gi-Oh! Then we get some news on the new Castlevania. That'd be an insane year for Konami. Also, uh, Metal Gear Delta. Oh, it's a blue. Speaking of blue, this is your last chance to get points in for the Gamba, if you're so inclined. Terra Bear is good. So many baits. We'll take the spaghetti. A new Castlevania would probably not be pixel art. My guess it would look pretty similar to Grimoire of Souls, if you've seen that. The mobile game. Now the Apple Arcade game. Probably still 2D. But its own, like, distinct 2D style. Well... I'm stuck until I get more MP, thank you. This guest house has been a total bust. Should have gone to chapel. I'm gonna farm some hearts here. A progression item counter. Um, I mean, it'd be interesting. I do feel like the uh, the tracker basically covers what you'd need. Oh, oh, really? Oh my God, this is perfect. We just added that emote. Hippo has arrived, courtesy of Boer. Thank you, Boer. I can't lie, one of the reasons we're doing more Dawn All Souls is just because that emote. Give it some use. 
Shoutouts to Wu once again for making that. This is a really good run. Sub 2 is going to be tough, obviously. It's always tough without Panther. It's tough with Panther. Alright, one more check. Ooh, it's a canister. It's a blue. Okay. Hang on. This run just got really, really serious. I'm dead serious. This could actually PB. So it took a while, but it turns out left side was actually the right route. Cranberry, thank you so much. But the Peepo arrived here too. Happy 19 months. Thank you so much for the generosity. The premium reset. Right, so now let's uh, get a move on here. Mm -hmm, nice. Ah, uh -huh, nice. Good. So two seals down. Uh, Any way I can get this, maybe Abaddon. Nice. Nice, another one. I said it was going to take us a while to see Dimitri, but uh, scratch that thought. We're going to see him right now. save here. I would not want to lose all this progress. Hey, that was kind of cool. Wait a minute. Yeah, I did that by accident. Hang on. <laughs> That's kind of neat. I guess it's on the same frame. You can back dash and activate the save point. Cool. Malthus is a grounded boss. The wings are just for ship. Hey, it's Killer Fish, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, when I get Rahab, we will fight Rahab, and I will show you the power of the Killer Fish, okay? Okay, look forward to it. gun. I'm actually going to use this gun. Oh, it's a handgun, never mind. I am uh, not going to use that gun. I was thinking it was the good one. Okay. 
That's every seal. Easy. Up, I'm on. 15 months. Long time, thanks a bunch. Yeah, we were literally just talking about that earlier. The uh, classic Yu Gi Oh collection. We only know about two games that are in the collection so far. But uh, the fact that they're willing to include games that are uh, pretty unorthodox in terms of the rules compared to modern Yu Gi Oh gives me hope. Well, I just got to go back. It gives me hope that maybe, just maybe, Forbidden Memories will be in there. Even if it's only in Japan, I will uh, purchase that. In a lot of ways, Hollow Knight is the quintessential modern Metroidvania. It really leverages modern combat design philosophies and practices to massively improve the combat formula. Um, no. I know, I think Hollow Knight is debatably the best game ever made. So I don't say that in like a negative way. But, um, quote unquote, modern design principles are all about iframe abuse. That's the hot new trend in game design. Courtesy of Dark Souls, the game that everyone wants to emulate, even when it doesn't work. Hollow Knight is very much focused on traditional, classic, retro-style active dodging. There's not really a whole lot going on with pairing, and there's not really a whole lot going on with iframe abuse. Which I think is good. But games like Dead Cells, or Prince of Persia, or games I don't like nearly as much as those two. Like any kind of uh, Dark Souls indie Metroidvania. Or God forbid Castlevania Fighter, yikes. Those games are just... Memorize, press the dodge button at the right time. Ugh, bad. Oh no, there's a fan-made uh, Castlevania fighter. It's a very flashy game. I wish I liked it more. All right, Gurgoth, let's go. And I guess, uh, I don't know, Abaddon? I think he's already dead. <laughs> I think that's phase one already. No? It's gotta be close. <laughs> <There's>. <laughs> nice phase one. I just realized I forgot to buy mind ups. Dang. No ASMR today. You see, I'm okay with the way that Dread handled it. There was also some of that in a Samus Returns. 
But that kind of goes to my point about how quote unquote modern design is about dodge and counter. Even Metroid can't avoid it entirely. I'm with you. Active dodging is most interesting. Like, for example, Aria and Dawn have got parries, quote unquote. They've got the final guard soul. A little bit of that's fine. All right, we're good on money. Oh, a Hyrule Warrior game for a Castlevania? Obviously, I'd be all in on that. I'd be all in on an Arc Systems Castlevania fighter. What are we doing here? I'm actually kind of low on options. Um, so there aren't that many checks left. Hmm. You know what? Let's uh, do these at the start. The 3D Vanias are a lot more like that, it's true. Especially Curse. CV64 is pretty old school. And, um... I think Lament's a nice balance. Okay, how are you supposed to do this? This is gonna be tricky. Let's just go with this. There we go. Merman. The reason why it works better in 3D is because the alternative is much worse. Active dodging in 3D can be a finicky and frustrating experience. Whereas the elegance of 2D allows for that sort of thing to be, um, you know, very fair and very satisfying when well designed. You know? The human brain has a much easier time handling two axes rather than three for active dodging. So it's like 3D games came up with a solution for engaging combat that didn't work in 2D. Or let me let me rephrase. They had to adjust for the third dimension. And then some indie designers decided to reincorporate those back into the second dimension. And I think that's a mistake. And not to say all games like that are bad. I think Dead Cells is really fun. It was one of my favorite games from last year. That Castlevania DLC. But, um, what it can end up doing is trivializing all of your interesting bullet patterns. Because all you gotta do is, hey, just press the iframe button. It's like an invincibility star on command with good time. But for modern games like Prince of Persia, which I think does a pretty good job, I will settle for like a one-third balance. One-third parrying, one-third dodge roll, one-third active dodging. That's about the best you can hope for nowadays, although Silk Song should be more like Hollow Knight in that regard. But yeah. If you can at least get to that one-third split, I'm happy. Hello, Ziggy. Kinda took a while to get the key. Could've been faster.
<laughs> nice double drop. Oh my god, that was lucky. I'm really pretty optimistic on this run right now. How could you not be? Honestly. Press the actual switch here. Oh, we're not gonna need ghoul this run. Very nice. That one's off the table. Bad the game. Oh my <laughs> These Medusas are tripping me up. Okay. And one final point on our conversation about active dodging. There's another really obvious exception to that. Big shout outs to Curry the Kid for knocking it out of the park with Ritual of the Nights. Hey, there's Rahab. That went to prove two things. Number one, that active dodging can 100% work and flourish in a modern game. And number two, there is still plenty of room for innovation with that design philosophy. I think Curry is an actual genius. Like, people give Iga a lot of credit, and Iga definitely deserves credit for, like, the world design and the atmosphere. The general vibes, the direction. But the gameplay of the series, that's, uh, that's all curry. I did not see the recent tweet from Bloodstain. Tell me more. Fight. A free Shantae cosmetic pack? Ooh. So that's, uh, including the premium costumes, that's gonna be four new ones, right? That's very cool. We'll try that out, I think. So long as they're all rando compatible, I'm happy. I wonder if we'll maybe get some uh, other crossovers as well. Close to release of 1.5. Well, obviously this is gonna become a ritual stream once that actually drops. We're gonna be doing so much co-op you wouldn't believe how much co-op it's going to be. Alright, so uh, I guess we'll go up to Aguni then. I'm wondering where Flight is, like, you know, Good Flight, Hippogriff? Shusu. Shusu. Ah, 
I wish I liked Axiom Verge. I wish I did. I should give that another chance. I don't even really remember why I don't like it that much. I remember being pretty unimpressed by the uh, the boss patterns on the first couple of bosses. Maybe it got better though. No, oh, it, it's Guyborg. Guyborg is correct. Curly is correct. Um, Lubicant is correct, 100%. There are no typos in Castlevania. Yo, Woo! Woo out of the blue with an insane batch of gift subs. Hold on one second here, Woo. We just get the gun. Really do appreciate the nine gift subs. Thanks a bunch. There are more emotes on the way. In fact, lots more. You're trying to gift a tenth, but it doesn't let. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what. I think nine is fine. <laughs> I think nine's good. I right, just go with this. Magical ticket. Hey, that's perfect. Hey, that's perfect. I'm using this right now. Let me just beat up a Goonie first. Oh my god. Hey, Ziggy, thank you so much. Not just the one extra one, but ten in total. Oh my god. A lot of people getting peepo today. Thanks a ton, Ziggy, for the crazy generosity. Um, I'm gonna try Terror Bear here. I'm ready to be disappointed. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Alright, something else, something else. Uh, Ice Brand? Devil Ice Brand? I mean, that's kind of decent. I'll go with this. And Woo with the tenth oh my almost died. <laughs> Woo with the tenth gift sub. That's like 20 gift subs in two minutes. You all are nuts. Please get this first try. Good seal day, thank you. Which game has the best combat of all? Well, it's gotta be a Castlevania. It's gotta be a Curry the Kid game. So, um, on the short list is Aria, Dawn, Portrait of Ruin, Ritual of the Night. God, you could you could maybe put Soden on there. Soden's easy, mostly. It's difficult to optimize, but it's, it's I don't know. The actual mechanics are brilliant in Soden, even though a lot of times the game doesn't put up enough resistance, and you can just crouch and attack most bosses. That one's a- it, it's a weaker case, but you can definitely make the case. I, I'm gonna say somewhere between Ritual and Arya. But Ecclesia's really good combat. It's tricky. Alright, so as promised, here we go. I'm just gonna say Arya. Arya is my final answer. Uh, Order of Ecclesi is my least favorite of these Metroidvanias. Great game. Just, there has to be a game at the bottom. 
Hold that thought, though. It's time for Killer Fish. If you doubted the soul, get ready to be proven wrong. So the gun's doing 37, right? This is a pretty good weapon. Here comes the fish. 189. It uses no MP, and Rahab is dead. Why is the fish so strong, lol? I don't know. It was Curry's vision. I mean, it makes sense. If, if you're not going to be usable outside of water, you got to be really good in the water. And it is. Oh my god. Look at this. 243 on Degarabia. Let's keep using it. <laughs> oh my god, it's going ham. All right, Dawn. Maybe Dawn has the best combat, actually. Go Malakota. Dawn has definitely got some really unique souls. Malakota is another good example. Oh my god, Malakota and Imp in the same room. Literally, what are the odds, though? Let's do a quick killer fish farm. Look at this, it's, it's 10 MP. Can you imagine there's like a secret property where killing an underwater enemy with killer fish gives it like a higher drop rate? Now sadly, this does not work on Pro Cell, which it would be so nice, but it doesn't work. So, off to Malakota now. What's up, babe? I am glad the mic is sounding good. I was worried I messed something up. The real advantage, though, is I can pop off now. And it just doesn't sound awful anymore. I'll show you once I get to this uh, soul drop here. This one's rare. It might take a while. It sounds like me to GDQ event. See, that makes sense. Because unlike me, GDQ staff are professionals who know what they're doing. I I'm learning though. I'm learning the basics now. Yo! Raikuda! Ahem. Now with any luck, unlike before, there should have been no clipping there. It should have been loud, but relatively easy on the ears. Oh, the echo part I can tell you just because of the room I'm in. It's the acoustics of the room. I guess that only happens when I'm yelling. Makes sense. The only way I could fix that would be uh, I could buy, like, padding for the walls. But that's just, that's too pro. It's not a problem. I am kind of on the mountain. The speed running mountain. Maybe it fits. Oh uh, yeah, Cranberry, I just learned what a compressor was like four hours ago. Courtesy of a JRP video. Oh my God, I'm bad at the game. I'm bad at the game. Thank you.
Hmm. Well, isn't that convenient? I mean, this whole seed has just been insanely convenient. Although I forgot to re-equip flight, so I got to do this again. Hang on. Now, I did say we were going to go up here to get the uh, Death Scythe. Let's do that. I checked this out. Oh, almost. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. It's, it's impossible. Hang on. It was all RNG minute. Got it. <laughs> Let's go. weird how Panther will cancel a heavy weapon animation. It's not really that useful, but it is some, like, task tech. Maybe someday we'll incorporate it more. Anyway, I gotta focus. This run is insanely good. I can't be losing time for no reason. Well, like anything else when it comes to streaming, just doing it more makes it easier. My early streams look and sound so bad. This is like, I didn't know how to set up audio, which really I still don't, but even more so. I didn't know how to set up live split. So like my splits look awful. The OBS feed looks awful. There's actually a surprisingly big difference between uh, good-looking splits and bad-looking splits. Okay, I guess we'll go down then. Am I secretly handsome? No, I'm bald. I'm gonna roll up to GDQ bald with a beanie on, and maybe no promises, some uh, hammer shades, okay? Just keep expectations for the summer in check, okay? wouldn't want to disappoint anybody. Don't expect too much. I'm just I'm just a pretty boring white guy. I think it's good to keep expectations low. Oh, what do we got up here? Um, that's a Mjolnir. You all take this actually. It is soft lock pre prevention, although I can't actually, never mind. I'll have to remember that. If I need electric, 
we've got an option. Oh yeah, we got Raikuda. <laughs> How could I forget? I popped off about Raikuda. Of course. That 417 damage. God, that's so good. Oh, hang on. Yep, easy one here. I guess we'll go ahead and do a couple of farms on the way out. I got everything I need. Malakota Imp. We got it all. Hello, Delmira. I'm gonna take the Celeste Strawberry. You all have played, um... So last 64 at this point, right? Everyone's played that now? Just wanna make sure. Uh, so Ghoul Drop was a duplicate from a canister. That happens uh, like every run, you'll get a few of those like that, so very lucky. That it happened to be uh, one of the rarest drops in the game. Is that true, Mudfan? What about, like, Mario 64? Never played that one? Well, either way, good choice. Great game. I can't believe I'm saying this. Um, last year was the best year ever for games, right? We all agree. We all agree, I'm sure. The best year ever. Uh, this year might be better than last year. It's off to a hot start. Like a Dragon, Celeste 3D, Persona 3 Reload. Um, I feel like I'm missing some. Like even in January, we're getting a lot of top games here. FF7 Rebirth Chapter 2 is coming out this year, whatever that's called. Grand Blue's already out. Oh, Tekken 8! That was the one I was forgetting. Tekken 8 is here already. What the heck? Uh, Star Ocean 2, I, I, I can never play that game ever again. I'm sorry, it's just... The characters in that game talk way too much and they're really annoying and, and it makes me want to tear my non-existent hair out. It's unplayable. Uh, so bad. I don't want to be mean though. I just, I can't do it. Yeah. 
Mechanically, it's great. Visually, it's great. Music's great. I remember having a lot of fun playing it on the PlayStation version, but I just... I cannot listen to those voices anymore. Please understand. Well, good fight, but no longer a perfect seal day. Um, the new Atlas game, the fantasy one, that should be coming out this year, right? Probably late. We got Persona 6 coming out this year. We got Prime 4 coming out this year. New Banjo-Kazooie game coming out this year. Smash Ultimate 2's coming out this year. It's gonna be wild. Alright, so finally Hippogriff. Silk Song. <laughs> Unfortunately, Arm, you're wrong. You're dead wrong. Banjo Kazooie 4 is coming out. Ultimate 2 is coming out. Silk Song, however, will not be coming out. Even in this dream world, no Silk Song. I'm sorry. Skip on death uh, spear for both. Sorry, death spear. What's the death spear? The death sight. There we go. Seems like a pretty sick weapon, actually. Like a complement to the Alucard spear. You got the death spear. Where have I heard about Ultimate 2? A dream. But the thing is, it's a dream that myself and many others have had. Which I think makes it more likely. It's a collective dream. So, uh, it's confirmed. If multiple people have the same vision about a game coming out, it's kind of like getting multiple sources for your story, you know? Just makes it way more authentic and credible. Bad seal. All right, so we're an hour in. What's the percentage gonna be? Uh, you know, I have to say, the progress has been wild, but um, we're not quite as far along as I would have liked. Oh, well, that helps. All right, so we're up to 58 now. 42 souls. And to maybe I have about, like, well, about 42 minutes. I don't know. PP's gonna be tricky. I think it'll depend on which enemies are left to farm. We got a couple of good ones coming up, so that's nice. I think table's on the list, though. Okay, from the top. A ghoul is not in the pool, creature, however, is, sadly. Oh, no table, that's nice. I think I saw a zombie, yeah. That's just a complete freebie. Well, unless you leave the screen. Okay, Ghost. Spin Devil. Student Witch.
Keeping Eye is no longer on the table. We got that from a canister. Huge. That's a big one. Nice. Good tree ant farm. I don't mean to alarm anyone. But this might be the fastest All Souls of all time. And a reminder, Jinxes are not real. There is no way this does not be big. Isn't great, that's okay though. No skeleton farmer either, huh? Sadly, this is a pretty typical skeleton ape. One of the uh, rare drop rates. Happy if I get it before one one one. After this next minute, though, this is a nightmare farm.
Oh dear. Okay. Not good, but not a nightmare farm. Barely. So here I think we still have great armor. Nice. Probably tombstone. Insane Valkyrie farm. Are you kidding me? That's a 1.56% drop rate right there. That one was... Oh my god. Quetzalcoatl is not very rare, but still, first try. Come on. Alright, I'm ready for the tombstone. Alright. I'm ready for the big time disappointment there. This is on pace to be the unbeatable All Souls. Was that right? Was that 187 kills on Skeleton 8? Dang. See if we can get this before 115. been worse man so both times now i've made a request on a bad farm and we're just barely getting it within that time frame the tower is next Ice Dragonazo. And in both cases, it's instantly followed by a crazy lucky farm. On a rare drop? Okay, weird. Definitely kind of weird. The worst farm in terms of probability and location. Um... Good question. 
Like Great Axe Armor, for example, is a very rare one. But there's an excellent room for it right here. Um... Pro Cell is pretty bad. Even though the room for it is good, Arc Demon is always a miserable farm. It's like, despite the location, seeming pretty decent on paper. Skeleton Farmer might be the answer, even though Imp can one-shot, I agree with you, yeah. There's only the one, and it's in the center of a very awkward room. Let's go with that one. This has been a really nice Condemned Tower. One more. Never mind. Don't need it. Stolas is actually... Okay, well... Yeah, Stolas is pretty bad. <laughs> By nature of it being Stolas. When I get around to doing completionist runs for this game, we will have to get nine souls. Or at least some of the soul types. That'll be fun. Yeah, level 9 Waiter Skeleton is a full curry plate. It's incredible. It's big enough to where you can use it on the spawns during the Menace fight and just crouch behind it. And it completely covers Soma's hitbox. So you just cannot take damage from the spawns. It's like they're trying to chomp down on the curry. They can't reach ya. And they'll blow up. Very useful. And it's one of the easiest ones to get up to 9, actually. So I think that might be worth doing in a, a casual run, too. Yeah, that was not a good farm. Ripper's pretty common. Oh, well. It is, in essence, a curry shield, yeah. Also not a good farm here. Never mind. Not good, but could have been worse. Okay, so up to 73% really. So I've got about 33, 34 minutes to get 27 souls. We are now well ahead of pace. God, this is very exciting. This is really exciting. Let's go down to ghosts.
What is a max randomizer? First of all, hello, Apple. Uh, it depends on the game. But typically, the goal is to try and make it as random as possible. And that's a max. So in Ritual of the Night, for example, it's everything shuffled as much as the game will allow. Good one. Um... No, I don't have homunculus yet, I should go down. I have not done any throwing weapons only run for this game. It's a low tier weapon type, but... There are some ways to make it better, notably Skellerang will just straight up double your offensive output, so yeah. The fact that it doesn't get a devil boost is very unfortunate. Devil's like the meta of this game. So uh, that's a big problem. No Gorgon, wow. Uh, very lucky again. So one of the big ways I'm getting lucky this run is uh, which enemies have had the duplicates. Then a Ghoul duplicate, Gorgon duplicate, Peeping Eye duplicate. We've had some bad farms, but uh, way less than normal. But we'll just hope for a good creature. Uh, if I wanted to balance Devil, how would I approach it? I think Devil in this game is perfectly balanced. You could try and do it the way that Ecclesia does it, where it's fatal. But I personally think that's worse, and I'll give you my reason. In Ecclesia, on paper, it's more balanced to do it that way. But in practice, it's so good, you're still going to use it. The only difference is you're going to spend more time in the menu healing. So it's still optimal, but the downside is it's uh, a little bit more tedious to use, and resources become more important. So I actually prefer it in Dawn. I think it's an awesome risk-reward soul. And it makes every weapon viable, you know? Even with everything from a claim to uh, nothing at all, just empty fist. I got some really neat. Oh, no bomber armor, hang on. I see creature. I see creature, creature's coming up next. Next up, Killer Doll and Witch. Do we need Puppet Master, by the way? If so, that's a freebie. Nice, nice. God, this run is so good. I really hope this goes the distance.
interesting Balorid Puppet Master. So now the only progression soul left is Puppet Master. Wonder where that could be. I believe that counts for 100%, so we'll have to find that. Oh, do I have it already? Hang on, let me double check. Oh, you're right, I found that somewhere and just uh, forgot to mark it on the tracker. Maybe checks. So actually, we're totally good. Now it's just about the random drops. So I would say that the Acoustos glyphs are a little bit closer to Lubricant in a way from Aria. Where it's not so much an HP drain as it gives you better stats for lower HP. A lot of people don't know that Acoustos has that effect in Ecclesia. But it does make it a little bit more useful than it appears. It was a terrible farm. Um, well. If I don't get this for 1.30, I'm calling it a Nightmare Farm. One minute. Okay, once again, <laughs> cutting it real close. I would say technically no Nightmare Farms yet this run, but only barely. Okay, do I need Paranoia? No, so we can just skip Paranoia entirely.
No flame demon. I'm gonna go ahead and go for Iron Golem. Now it's time for Terror Bear, unironically. Dead Pirate. I will say, despite this being a really tough farm and a very slow one, it's also one of the most satisfying. <sighs> okay, so it's still got a small chance to peep it back, I tell ya. I think that might have just killed it, for real. It's just so bad. So, so bad. I'm hurt. I'm hurt emotionally by that farm. Right, let's hustle now. We go back to hammer, get some more resources before we climb up. I think we're back to need like a soul a minute at this point. And Arc Demon and Creature are still on the table potentially. Uh, thankfully, no table required. That one was a duplicate. Bit of good news. I still need bats somehow, that's easy to see. Guessing we need Mothman and the Final Guard, right? Final Guard for sure. So Devil, Gungnir we can use for this. Okay. So potentially, if I get a little lucky here, Despite this being an awful room, this could be two quick soul pickups. Maybe. Got the rare one. I just need the uh, relatively common one. Come on, Mothman.
This one I believe is one and eight with Soul Leader. Nice. That should be everything top floor. Maybe you got one more try for Alistor on the way back. Oh, hang on. Uh, Dead Warrior on the way out. Yeah, that's the last one. Actually, what about Bugbear? Do I need Bugbear? I think I'm gonna jump the gun on this. I do need Bugbear. Definitely wanna do this one up top. It's way better than anywhere else in the game. There's one soul I've been waiting to find. They don't have it yet. Dragagnazo. One more, for real this time. Oh yeah, everybody likes Mothman. Mothman's cool in Castlevania. Mothman is cool in SMT. Mothman's just pretty cool. Is there a Mothman in Fallout? There we go. That's a cop. I'm just gonna go to Creature now. <laughs> Hate to say it, let's just do it. This might be the make or break on TV. Oh god, here it is. This right here is the essence of Dawn of Sorrow. I got a random ghoul in the middle of a creature farm. For the record, that's the same drop rate. <laughs> Did I waste the good RNG? Uh-oh.
Hey, it's Mothman. The so rich you already got. This one already got. What about Bonehead? This one I need. Eighty-nine percent. Eleven more. Not looking good. Not looking good. Cause creature's gonna take at least five minutes, right? I know what you mean. This sound effect is burned into my brain at this point. It's over. So now even if everything was first try, I think PB's gonna be out of reach. And uh, we got some really bad ones left. There's still this one. There's uh, Arc Demon. Really promising run. This definitely had PB potential for a, uh, a good chunk of it. You know what, creature? Go ahead and take your time. No rush at all. I'm kind of curious what that other item drop could be. First one is a ninja suit. What do you think the second one is? Is it spinach? Could it be spinach again?
Have I ever left the screen by accident while the soul is flying around? That has never happened to me, no. That sounds like a skill issue to me. No way have I ever made that mistake. Did I do that earlier this very run? I think even this run, I've messed up in that regard. It's so hard to avoid it. You're gonna leave the screen sometimes. You just, uh, you hope it's not on these really terrible farms. This is why stalling slightly, not always a bad idea. Five minutes into the creature farm and nothing. Oh, absolutely. I've had creature farms that have been like 25 minutes. So, you can fit in a lot of speedrun categories, depending. This one I'm thinking within 10. So we'll get it by the end, the 158 mark. having a lot of fun playing Dawn of Sorrow. This is my second favorite game after all. Even during Creature Farm. Having a good time. This farm is, um, I was gonna say it's not even that bad. That would be a lie. I will say it has its charm. What's gonna drop first, that soul or that second item? I'm actually not sure. Uh, I've never gotten first trying to run. I have gotten second try before. I think a couple of times. That's super hype when that happens. If that happens, then instantly. Unless the run is already way behind, that means the pressure is on. Because the flip side is a farm like this one.
The weakest weapon you can defeat Chaos with an Aria? Uh, the weakest I'd recommend is the uh, Rahab Sword. I think the weakest I've ever done is, um... Like, Combat Knife, something like that? Anything better than a regular knife in, like, Bamboo Sword has a chance, if not a very good one. Alright, it's been ten minutes. God. Typical creature. Typical creature. And yet, when it comes to menace, I've actually done a no weapon speedrun to that game. 100% doable. It's all about devil. Okay, 10 more to go. Who do we got? There's Bat somehow, which is funny. Devil, Wok Wok, Malachi Heart Eater, Frozen, shit, that's an easy one. Decarabia, I can get right now. Aranus, Mud Demon, Arc Demon, Stolas. All right, all right. PB is long dead. We can still aim for a sub two and a half here. And for that, the odds are looking pretty decent. One problem is these are all kind of spread out. It's gonna take a while just in terms of the travel time to get where I need to get to. Worst enemy to farm if their drop rate was determined by the soul they carry. Good question. So, like, assume that everyone's got a 0 0.78, which is the lowest drop rate with soul leadering equipped. And all of a sudden, I think it's maybe Skeleton Farmer. For real. No, actually, it's, it's gotta be Arc Demon still. I think I would give it to Arc Demon because you think about that bolt combined with a lowest possible drop rate, it would take ages. Yo, Mark, what's happening? Thank you so much for the super generous tier two 24 months. Dang. Okay, it's time for Devil now.
Not bad, not bad. Funny enough, Silenced Ruins is actually the best place to farm bats. Oh, for this run, anytime you do an All Souls run, you start with a Soul Eater Ring. You get it from the get-go, which is nice. Seven more. Okay, so um, I believe it's just the Walk Walk tree, right? Then we're on to the abyss, yeah. Cool. And it's not Walk Walk, Prince of Persia taught me the correct pronunciation. It is in fact Whack Whack. So let's go for the Whack Whack farm. Speaking of resubs, what's up lady? Thank you so much for the 23 months of support. How you doing today? This is always my favorite part. You save Dario until way later into the rando. Then you can do stuff like this. Got him. Got him. Lassoed all the way across the room. Malakota is so cool. There is just... Oh, there's my Dragognazo. Jesus. There is just really no other, like, attack hitbox like that one. It's so unique. It really is kind of like a Castlevania lasso. What am I doing? Demons up first. Hang on, let me just confirm something. Yeah, no duplicates. We'll need all of these. This is the kind of run. Yep, this is the kind of run with that heartbreaking creature where I get the insane Arc Demon. God, this game is so predictable. It's so predictable. It's a joke. It's a complete joke. However, I am happy. Don't get me wrong. I just, I knew that was gonna happen. Couldn't even get it out in time. It happened too quick.
In this game, there is no RNG manipulation, no. This game's got two layers of RNG. One of them changes every frame, so... Not a lot you can do. I think we'll have to make one more shopping trip for Stolas. Try and get uh, Molokai on the way. Nice. Molusca from Malika. Nice Aranus farm. Okay. Look, I got a chance. I got a little bit of MP to work with here. It's Stolas and that's it. That's it. Come on. Am I really gonna have to go shopping at 99.1%? Come on, Stolas. Come on, Stolas. Okay, 444 is pretty good. Here's my idea. Here's my concept. We switch to Treant while we're going back and forth. And then Dead Pirate for the actual attacks. I can hold out on the shop a little bit longer now. This is pretty smart. It's looking done, so. I guess I can just stick with this. With the tree ant boost, if I just use the katana, this is about even. A little bit slower, but if I get it within the next like 20 kills, I think it's faster than going to the shop and back. Well, if you bet this randomizer was going to take less than two and a half hours, you're in the clear. Unless this is a 16-minute Stolas farm. Frankly, at this point, I wouldn't even be surprised. That would be the worst Stolas in history. Just 
just imagine it, creature kills the sub two, and then Stolas kills the sub two and a half. The perfect duo. Never mind. So overall, a fascinating All Souls playthrough. Not even sure how to summarize it, really. The luck was up and down and up and down. One of the most volatile runs ever. And it's gonna end up at just a barely above average time overall. Shall we go for some overkill here? I think we should. Like, 189 damage is pretty decent, but we can do better. We can go for... Drumroll. 354. You know what, that can be better too, honestly. There we go, 533. That's pretty decent. Hours, 14 minutes, 49 seconds. How about that? <laughs>